Hi, I'm Catherine and would first like to acknowledge and pay respect to the traditional owners and ongoing custodians of the land in Australia, the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people past, present and emerging. I am the proud owner of a small boutique creative agency in Sydney called Cry Baby, embarrassingly or not after Johnny Depp's romantic acting debut. I'm here to share some more stories, tears and tips, just briefly. I met my business partner Claire on the set of my television show MTV Style where we launched the career of um, someone you know, Ruby Rose. Claire and I were on the cusp of analog to digital in our respective industries, so Claire in publishing and myself in television. We were ahead of the wave to realise the significance of this huge shift across both of those industries into digital. So we both dropped everything and we jumped on the digital content creation train. Our company had gone from Claire and I, just doing creative, money came in, we paid expenses and then we halved the rest to an office full of people and us pretty much doing everything apart from the creative. That's when we knew we either need to get help or we need to quit the business because neither of us were happy. If you're getting to or you're at the point that we were at, getting help has to be your number one priority or chuck it in. I know that sounds harsh, but life's way too short. Nothing matters more than living your best life. If it's not making you happy, don't do it. Getting help keeps you sane and you can't run a business without sanity. Initially, we found help with a small business coach who we referred to fondly as our marriage counsellor. It was great, but it was really expensive. So I'm going to give this to you for free. Be fluid. Fluidity in a business is what makes your company adaptable and allows you the space to step back. You have to be fluid to be adaptable and to be able to survive, especially in this new world of crisis on top of crisis. So how do you make yourself fluid? Well, these are the steps we took to get back to what you love doing. First up, an accountability chart. I can't tell you how important this is. Having structure will make you fluid. Name people's responsibilities, label the different areas in the business, and then put a name against it. This is your first step to a visible workflow. And then most importantly, and this is across every business, you need to work out who is the ideas woman and who is the management or man, depending on how your business is structured. But you need those two roles to be clear. Draw a hard straw. Secondly, automate, automate, automate. And I know you've heard it a million times, but you need an automated ecosystem. It's going to make your life a lot easier. Automation creates an impenetrable workflow that allows for clear communication for you and for your staff. It sets a precedent and I would almost describe it, I do to my staff, as a how-to for anyone that's stepping into the business. They will know the steps to follow for every job from start to finish. To automate, um, you need to enter a lot of data. So my advice is to invest in a junior, sit with them at the beginning, um, and show them how it's done and make sure they've got it right and let them do it for you. I can promise it is worth, if you want to have a successful business, it is worth the investment. Finally, no matter where you're at in the business, you need to keep checking back in with your digital ecosystem set up to be able to be fluid. We do it quarterly. Um, it's like driving a car. You need to check the oil every few months so you don't break down in the middle of nowhere. If you become fluid, you become adaptable. Any professional in your field should be able to step into an, any position in the company and will be able to do the job because it's all there in front of them. This is the only way our company is 100% going to be able to get out of the other side with the COVID-19 impact. When our business was impacted by COVID-19, I had the ability to strip everything back, all our overheads, and still run everything smoothly. And COVID won't be the only crisis to hit you, and it wasn't our first crisis. So we've negotiated a couple of surprise babies, um, with both of us having had to have stepped out of the company and take maternity leave. And we couldn't have done this if we weren't fluid and hadn't put these structures in place. Someone without knowing the company could step easily into um, two senior positions. You can't be fluid unless you are prepared. And the two top things to be prepared for, as I've just talked about, are accountability charts and automation. And 
I tr do truly believe that being totally fluid is the key to adaptation and survival of your business and in turn yourself, especially when an unexpected event like COVID-19 hits. You know, we're, we're all going through this. Um, but each challenge in your business is just another chapter in your own story. So make your story just like any good Johnny Depp romance and a story with a happy ending and an option for a sequel perhaps. <laughs>